Isn't it interesting that people find it so difficult to talk about money? I'm Joy Fay, I'm a life coach, and I specialise in helping people in all areas of their relationship, which includes their finances. And this problem of, of dealing with money comes up so often. It's like it's a it's kind of a strange thing that that nobody wants to talk about but it's underlying mostly everything that concerns us you know without money it's not very possible to live in this day and age a lot of people do exchanges which is great but we still need to have money to go and have the life that we want so how do we get our mindset around this? How do we start having a better relationship with money? You know, it's at the end of the day, it's just a few coins and pieces of paper. But the association with it can tend to be very negative with lots of different ideas going on in the back of our mind. You know, money is the root of all evil and, you know, there's a scarcity and all that kind of thing on the one side. And then on the other side, there's, you know, looking at people who might be very, very wealthy, you know, we can tend to, um, you know, feel not resentful, but you know, looking at them with different emotions of, you know, why have they got that and I haven't kind of thing. So that all these mixed emotions get put in the same, in the, in the same pot and mixed together and causes this tension about money. So I'm here to say, relax. <laughs> money is just like anything else. And when we look at um, the law of attraction, we see it just as an energy um, that we exchange. So we have to relax about how we think about money and just think about it as, uh, um, you know, something that is part and parcel of our life that gives us different things. I do a whole um, training on on how to have the right mindset to money, which is really very interesting. But, you know, when you're just looking at um, talking about finances with your partner or with a financial advisor or with the bank or whoever it concerns, to have that tension isn't serving you. You just need to relax and feel okay about it. Um, and try and not think about it in the manner of scarcity. There's as much money in the world as there is anything else. It's just because of these uh, tendencies to have these negative ideas, we tend to get in a bit of a fuzz in our mind about it. So the best thing that you can do is just relax about it. And also perhaps write down a few of the ideas that you have about money. And then, in, in say, put that in one column and then put in another column how you would like a relationship to be with money. If money was a person, how would you treat them? <laughs> and, you know, that can make you laugh because we don't normally think in those terms. But, you know, how would we like that person to treat us? You know, we'd like them to give us gifts and look after us and be... Uh, you know, give us security. If we, if we thought about that money as a person, we have a completely different relationship to it. It doesn't become something, you know, frightening or something not to talk about. Um, you know, we, we tend to be very conservative about talking about money, especially in the, in the UK. You know, if we're in the States, it's not, they don't have the same uh, association. But if we start to begin to think about money as having a relationship with it and having a good relationship with it, it makes us smile because it's different and it makes us feel more uh, open and relaxed about how we deal with it. So if you want some more um, in-depth understanding about developing a great relationship with money then I would love to talk to you because it's a great subject actually 
and very amusing. But once we get rid of the limiting beliefs and the fear about it, it's amazing the things that happen that allow money to f money to flow more easily. So do get in touch, and we can we can talk this through, and you can have a new attitude and a new way of dealing with your finances with confidence and without any embarrassment and without any limiting beliefs. So I look forward to hearing from you.